since since the book came out a couple weeks ago, uh, I've gotten literally hundreds of emails uh, questions, and almost all of them, or the vast majority of them, are tied to this mouth taping because so many people think this is some new age woo woo BS. They they said this is extremely dangerous. How dare you talk about this? And again, I'm a journalist, so. I talk to people at Stanford. I talk to doctors who have been prescribing this to, to kids. Um, I am a, a conduit to these professionals in the field who have been studying this stuff for decades. And they've found, even my father-in-law is a, a pulmonologist. He's now sleep taping and he said, oh my God, I think you've just cracked into something. And it's, it's free. So something i try to make very clear is you're gonna go on youtube you're gonna see people with like duct tape on their faces and all this other crap the only thing you need which is exactly what you just mentioned is a piece of very weak tape very weak cloth tape micropore tape what i do and i i wish i had some right here i don't but um i take a piece of tape about that big yeah but an inch by an inch and I put my thumb on it to take some of the adhesive off. Yeah. And I just put it right here. Just a teeny little bit. Well, better than get some advice from you live on here. So I was thinking just There you go. Yes. Perfect. That's it. And now when it's time to take it off, don't rip it off. Use your tongue. This is, this is weird. But use your tongue and put your tongue between the lip and the tape and go like this and kind of do a windshield wiper of it off that way you're not gonna yeah. so a lot of people are like this is so great it works really good but my lip is just so chapped yes no this is you use weak tape and you just yes. very gently do that and yes. uh it's free yeah. it's it absolutely works if you think of if a third of your life you're breathing through your mouth which is mm -hmm. bad news it's gonna be really hard to really improve your health with that. Mm -hmm. So you have to breathe through your nose, especially mm -hmm. at night. And I think you will notice some profound changes. Yeah, and I think it's worth just pointing out here as well, um, for people to be very careful with their children, not to tape up the mouth. Uh, there's lots of products in the market. I think there's one called Milo tape that goes around the mouth. Um, so so it, this is an adult thing only with children, be very careful. And there are products specifically for that going around. Uh, which I know that the auction manager does sell, so you can check that out on there. Yes, website. and and to be clear, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a breathing therapist. This is stuff I learned from one of the the main therapists of mm. the director of speech language pathology at Stanford. Mm -hmm. She uses sleep tape. She gives it to all of her patients. So yeah. I was able to absorb this information from them. Mm -hmm. And and the point is, people say, well, what if I have to suddenly uh, cough or or breathe or I you know. What if, what if I have to vomit at night? I'm not sure how many people are doing that, but this is weak tape. It's at the middle. At any, you can use your tongue and, and yep. it comes right off. The, the point is not to hold your lips shut. Mm. It's to just train yourself to keep the jaw closed in its natural position yes. and breathe out of your nose. This is, there's nothing forceful about mm -hmm. it. And I've even noticed, I'm, I've really evolved here, that by just having that little piece of tape there, you could still even talk, mm -hmm. you, can, you can cough, you can w whatever. It's just to train you to breathe through your nose. Uh, and if somebody says to you, well, why am, I, why am I doing this? What is the purpose of me taping up at night? What would you say the benefits are? Sure, so the benefits of nasal breathing, and this is something the ancients wrote about in, in numerous books over thousands and thousands of years. And luckily science has really supported what they've been saying. The nose filters air, it humidifies it, conditions it, removes particulate, mm. helps remove pathogens. Mm. Also gives you this huge, uh, huge release of nitric oxide, which is extremely effective at fighting off pathogens and viruses, which is a really good thing to be thinking about nowadays. So just breathing through your nose is going to increase your oxygenation about 20% with each breath. So you, you will need to take fewer breaths to get more oxygen and it's conditioning that air and heating it to your body temperature so that your lungs won't get irritated so they can more easily extract the oxygen bring it into your bloodstream and deliver it to all of the cells 
So there are innumerable reasons to be breathing through your nose. None of this is controversial. I mean, every there's a ton of science going on right now with it, but there's been a ton of for the past 50 years. Like nasal breathing is how all animals should be breathing. If you look at any other animal in the wild beyond like some bulldogs mm -hmm. whose faces are so sadly messed up that yeah. they're just... <laughs> yeah. They look just like a lot of people, you know, we bred them to have these flat faces just mm -hmm. as we have become very flat faced. Any other animal in the wild sleeping with its mouth closed, you know, it's breathing through its nose. Even if you look like a cheetah stalking prey, it's never, <laughs> it's nasal breathing, even when it's running 50 miles per hour. And yeah. same with a horse. The only time a horse is breathing through its mouth when it's really, really sick. You see yeah. a horse running fast. So, so this is how we're supposed to be breathing. 